Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Father Andres Halemba, who is the head of projects for the Middle East for aid to the church in need. Father. Ladies and gentlemen, on this day, the 29th November, in 275, St. Saturnius, the first Catholic bishop of Toulouse, was martyred for his faith in Toulouse, France. On that day, the temple oracles accused him of having previously struck them dumb when he walked, had walked past. They threatened him to either offer a sacrifice to appease their deities or expiate this crime with his blood. His reply was his final prayer for the cross. I adore one only God, and to him I am ready to offer a sacrifice of praise. He was still alive when he had his feet tied and roped to a bull which dragged him about the town until the rope broke. Two Christian women gathered, him, gathered up his raiment, reminiscent of two women standing by Christ as he was crucified, and they assured he received a reverential burial. The saint now rests in the Basilica of St. Saturnius, Toulouse. He is the patron saint of Toulouse. St. Saturnius' witness was an expression of his faith, an act of sacrifice and adoration to God. This is reflected in John 12, 24. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it is dies, it bears much fruit. In 2014, Pope Francis described Christ as the first martyr, the first faithful witness. He added that there are more such persecuted witnesses in the world today than there were in the first centuries of Christianity. The persecution of Christians is not a distant or historic series of events, but a frightening reality for our brothers and sisters in Christ today. More Christians have been killed for their faith this century than the killing of Christians in all previous 19th centuries combined together. The International Catholic Charity Aid to the Church in Need asserts the validity of this estimate from Human Rights Watch observers that of all religiously based persecution worldwide today, 75% are aimed against Christians. They are suffering discrimination, intimidation, and are being kidnapped, tortured, and killed. They are consoled by Matthew's Beatitude, chapter 5, verse 11. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. What will do you to help your fellow Christians persecuted because of their faith? St. Teresa of Avila said, prayer is an act of love. Words are not needed. How will you put your prayer into action?